talk so much about the 1999 team and the build-up to this, but specifically the 2019 team. What's their legacy to you? You know, this was a totally different experience at the World Cup for me. Um, having two daughters that are 12, and to see this tournament through their eyes and their friends' eyes um, was life-changing, not just for them, but for me. And how they truly believe anything is possible. And that is the legacy of this team. They've taken what we were able to accomplish and raised the bar even higher. And, and, you, and you see the comments and, and the opportunities um, are so much greater than they were um, when we played. And that's their legacy is so many more doors are open and, and it's because of these players. The cutest thing I saw after they won, yep. and we talk about the inspiration and seeing the game differently through your daughter's eyes, was seeing a picture of Rose Lavelle at the age of nine who dressed, had to dress up like her role model. And she dressed up as you. And I, I took a picture of it from Twitter, and I sent it to you. I texted to you, be like, have you seen this? Have you had a discussion with Rose about that photo? I, I haven't, um, but obviously, I mean, to, to now see my daughters talk about I want to be like Rosa Lavelle, that's what life is supposed to be about. Um, you occupy a space and you try to uh, inspire as many people as you can, but you're doing so knowing that someone else will pick up the baton. And that's what these players have done. And, and um, I'm just, I'm grateful that Rose thought of me that way. And then she probably saw me and she's like, that's it. <laughs> Mackerel, there it comes, a celebratory spray from the field uh, here at the Rose Bowl. Um, and humility. We can humility. use, <laughs> we can use that to uh, transition to some kind of news of the week out of FIFA, that they will expand the Women's World Cup to 32 teams for 2023. What do you think? I think, I think it's fantastic. I think they're, they're young girls um, in, in different areas of the world right now who don't even know that in eight years, 12 years from now, they're gonna to get to represent their country in a World Cup. And that's what it does. Um, it's inspiring the next generation, but it's creating more and more opportunities, not just on the field of play, uh, but in education, in occupational opportunities. And um, so I applaud FIFA for doing that. Mm. You know, uh, such a big part, I think, of what's in the future uh, for this team specifically, and maybe women's football in the United States is the National Women's Soccer League. We've seen an incredible response in the week since. What do you think? Listen, this league has gotten better and better every single year. Um, I'm looking forward to hopefully expanding it. I know it's something we, we want here in, in Los Angeles. I get questions every single day. That's where Sebi is leading. Um, He's nicely leading you there, I think. And, and um, you know, people want it. The game is growing, and I think it's our responsibility to kind of match that. Why do you think the NWSL is so important to the future of the national team? I think because these players need to see another step for them. And then for them to be able to maintain the level that they have on the national team. Because our national team grows and gets better, not just here in the US, but all across the world. If we deepen our pool and we raise the level of that pool. And the only way you do that is by creating more and more competitive environments for that to happen. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.